My name is Kim Nelson. I'm a senior program manager on the Microsoft Dynamics AX global financial management team. My team delivers the financial features that help you manage your business. In this video, I'm going to talk about some of the key enhancements that we've made to compliance and auditing in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012. Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 allows companies to enforce compliance in a consistent and cost-effective manner while streamlining your business policies and improving your efficiency across the entire organization. Audit trails, alert rules, and database logging all help you meet your compliance requirements by recording what happened, when it happened, and by whom. Role-based security, along with the setup of segregation of duties, are key components in meeting re um, compliance requirements in securing your system. Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 also provides the ability to set up flexible audit policies and rules to help you automate your auditing needs and managing any audit violations. At this time, I'm going to walk through a little demo on our Audit Workbench functionality. So let's begin by opening up the policy rule type. The policy rule type is where you can set up which types of transactions you want to audit as well as what type of audit you want to do. So if I look at the query name, you'll see that I can audit three specific types of transactions. I can audit expense reports, purchase orders, and vendor invoices. And I can choose to edit at the line level, at the header level, or at both the line and header level. The query type will tell me what type of audit I am running. I can run conditional audits, uh, aggregate audits, as well as sampling, duplicates, list search, and keywords such as government, for example. For this demo, I've already set up an audit rule type that's going to audit expense report lines and it's going to look for duplicate lines within a, across um, a period of time. And I'll continue walking through some how I've set this up. The next step is to create the audit policy itself. The audit policy is going to determine which companies I want to run the audit against as well as some more information about that policy rule type. So in the policy organizations I would select all of the companies that, I, that are available for this rule and then the policy rules I will select the policy rule type that I've created for the duplicate expenses and within that I can choose to select additional information. One of the things that I need to do for a duplicate is determine which fields need to be checked to see if they're a duplicate. So in the group by tab I have selected that I want to look for the transaction amount, the transaction date, the expense category, and the employee. And if all of that information is the same I want to raise the flag that this may be a potential violation. Next I can actually test this audit rule to see how that would run over a shorter period of time. And, it, and, it, and this one is showing some information so I know I may have a potential violation. And once I've got this all set up I can go ahead and run the audit. Under additional options I can set the date range that this audit policy is available for as well as further filter it down to specific employees for example or add some prohibited words. I can then batch process this audit policy so that it be, can, can be repeatable. For this demo I've already run this audit policy and any violations will be created in an audit case. So let's go ahead and open up this audit case that was generated by the, the batch process. And if I click in the Associations tab this is going to bring back all of the, the data that is found as potential violations. 
So here I am seeing two separate expense reports for Julia. Um, taxi, $35 on the 19th of July. And the second expense report line also has the same data in it. At this point, I can drill back in to look at the detail around the expense report lines themselves. And then I can also um, contact Julia herself and find out if they truly are two separate expenses or did she accidentally um, log the, the same expense twice. There is a case log uh, area in the, um, in the case where I can track all of the communication that I have done with the employee to, to manage through this process. And once I'm completely satisfied that this is either a, a violation or it's not a violation, I can then choose to close the case. The compliance site provides a central location where you can view and manage all of your compliance documentation for your business processes and um, internal controls. There are also some relevant KPIs that are for you to view for your organization, as well as some external links that you can use to go look for the, the rules around your compliance that your organization needs to meet. I can manage those audit cases from within this site, as well as generate some reports around internal controls and audit trail. So as you can see, Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 provides flexible setup around rules and policies for auditing so that you can automate this and make it repeatable, as well as providing a central location for you to manage all of your compliance documentation. In order to understand fully what Microsoft Dynamics AX can do for your business, please take the time to walk through our product website or contact your Microsoft partner for more information. And I'd like to thank you for taking the time to view this video.